हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन आई एम वन सेकंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 16.2 फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अग्रवाल दिस इज अ सेकंड पार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर द फर्स्ट वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर so here in sum number 8 in the adjoining figure triangle abc is a right angle triangle at b its legs are 8 cm and 6 cm find the length of perpendicular bn on the side ac it's a very easy problem so i hope all of you know the pythagoras theorem according to pythagoras theorem here perpendicular square Plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. In the given diagram, AB is the perpendicular, BC is the base, and AC is the hypotenuse. So perpendicular square or height square plus base square equal to hypotenuse square. That is Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So here AB square that means six square, BC square that means eight square. and here ac square so from this equation you can easily find out the value of ac square so here 6 square mean 36 8 square 64 that one equal to 100 then ac equal to root over 100 and that is 10 cm okay now you have to find out the value of bn okay so in this diagram here bn is perpendicular on ac clear bn is perpendicular on ac now if you want to find out the area of the triangle abc then you know the formula half into height into base that means half into ab into bc and that one equal to half into 6 into 8 so it's 3 that means 24 cm square is the area of this triangle now another way suppose if you let ac is the base of this triangle okay if you let ac is the base of this triangle then bn is perpendicular on ac that means bn is also the height of this triangle okay if ac is the base then bn is also the height of the triangle that means here half into ac into bn also the area of that same triangle abc okay so that one equal to you can write down 24 cm square so here you know the value of ac that is 10 now you have to find out the value of bn from this equation so here 24 okay 24 by 5 so bn equal to 24 by 5 and that one equal to 4.8 cm okay 4.8 cm that is your answer it's a very easy problem okay now move on to the next sum that is sum number 9 so here in sum number 9 first uh, read it very carefully in sum number 9 here in the adjoining figure the area of triangle abe is equal to the parallelogram abcd okay area of the triangle abe is equal to the area of the parallelogram abcd okay it's done if the altitude ef ef is 16 cm long okay ef 16 cm find the length of the altitude of the parallelogram to the base ab of length so here ab equal to 10 cm what is the area of the triangle amd where m is the midpoint of the site okay so as here m is the midpoint so if ab equal to 10 cm then dc equal to also 10 cm that means dm or mc equal to half of 10 that means 5 cm okay now the area of the triangle aeb is equal to the area of the parallelogram abcd so for the triangle here the formula half into base that means ab into height that means ef and here for the parallelogram here the formula ab 
for the parallelogram yeah, the base equal to ab ab into okay ab into here you have to find out suppose this one here gf okay where is g suppose this point this one this point here this one is g point so here gf is the height of this parallelogram clear so if gf is the height of this parallelogram then according to the formula of the area of the parallelogram base into height ab is the base so ab ab will be cancel out half into ef ef here 16 so gf equal to here 8 centimeter okay gf equal to 8 centimeter if gf equal to 8 centimeter then eg equal to 16 minus 8 that means also 8 centimeter okay eg equal to 16 minus 8 also 8 centimeter okay now next you have to find out the area of the triangle amd okay now observe it very carefully suppose as you know that here the triangle ABE is equal to the parallelogram ABCD. Is it clear? Okay. That means here the common part, here the common part between this triangle and this parallelogram that is ABCM. Okay. Or ABMC. AMCB. This part. Okay. This purple part. Or this red part is the common between this triangle ABE and the parallelogram ABCD. Okay, this red part is common between this triangle ABE. I mark it as the yellow color. ABE is a triangle, and this one ABCD is the parallelogram. So the red one is common between this parallelogram and this triangle. So if you subtract this red part that means a b c m if you subtract this red part from the triangle and from the parallelogram then it will be also equal so suppose here if i subtract from the triangle the uh, here the quadrilateral a b c m and again subtract it from the parallelogram so a b c m so if you subtract ABCM from the triangle, it will be here. The remaining is AMC, the upper triangle. And if you subtract the quadrilateral from the parallelogram, then you will get the triangle AMD. Okay, AMD. So now for triangle AMC, for triangle AMC, uh, sorry, it's AMC, it's EMC. Sorry for this one, EMC, the upper part. So, for this triangle here EMC half into here MC is the base that means 5 centimeter and then EM okay sorry EG then EG is the height that means 8 centimeter. So, that one equal to triangle AM AMD. So, here 4 that means 20 centimeter square. So, 20 centimeter square is the area of triangle AMD clear okay. Now let's move on to the next sum. Now next sum number 10. In the adjoining figure ABCD is a rectangle of size 18 centimeter and 10 centimeter as length and breadth. In the triangle BEC, in the triangle BEC here angle okay here angle C equal to 90 degree that means BEC is a right angle triangle and EC EC here 8 centimeter suppose here EC is the height then EB will be the base and BC is the perpen sorry hypotenuse. So you can easily find out EB that means here EB equal to root over here BC square minus EC square that means root over 10 square means 100 8 square means 64 so EB equal to here 6 centimeter. Now find the area of the shaded region is very easy. First find out the area of the rectangle. So here the area of the rectangle equal to A, B, C, D then minus the area of the triangle here B, E, C. So area of the rectangle 18 into 10 then minus half into 8 into 6. 
then you will get the area of the shaded region so 180 minus 24 so your final answer 156 centimeter square it's a very easy problem okay now the last one some number 11 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here the last one some number 11 1 in the given uh, in the following figure the area of the shaded region okay so here first you have to find out the area of the rectangle okay and next uh, for the next one to find out the shaded region do one thing uh, first find out the area of the rectangle so here the area of the rectangle equal to 18 into 10 okay then subtract the area of this triangle number 1 and this triangle number 2 so for the first triangle number 1 here the formula to find out the area half into base into height and for the next one half into here height is 10 now what will be the base as here ab equal to 18 then here de is 10 so definitely ec equal to sorry it's 8 so here write down 8 okay so again suppose as here ab equal to 18 centimeter then D, dc equal to also 18 centimeter clear now de equal to 10 centimeter that means remaining ec equal to 8 centimeter and from the triangle bec here half into base into height so half into 8 into 10 will be the area of this triangle so find out the area of this triangle it's 180 then here it's and here 30 so 30 plus 40 so 180 minus 70 they don't equal to 110 centimeter square that is your first answer clear now next one number two so for number two here a b c d is a square okay a b c d is a square so you know how to find out the area of the square side into side that means here 20 into 20 then you have to subtract these three triangles 1 2 3 so here bc equal to here 20 centimeter af 10 that means df also 10 and dc equal to here 20 so for the first triangle half into 10 into 20 is the area for the next triangle number 2 here half into 10 into 10 and for the third one here half into 10 into sorry it's into 10 into 20 so this one equal to here 400 minus first 100 second one 50 and third one again 100 that means 250 okay so 400 minus 250 your answer is 150 centimeter square okay 